I want you to close your eyes, get comfortable, um, get yourselves, you know, if you want to lean up against a wall or a chair or, or just sit very comfortably so that you feel good where you are. I want to guide you through just relaxing your body, relaxing your mind. I want you to take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, feel your entire body relax. Feel your scalp begin to relax. Now feel the relaxation begin to move down past your eyelids to your cheek. Begin to feel your cheeks relax and your chin. Begin to feel your shoulders relax. Just relax your body. Begin to feel your arms relax and your abdominal area relax. Your legs relaxing, your knees, your calves. Now feel relaxation in your toes. Just take another deep breath in and just relax. I want you to visualize that it's five years from today. This same day, five years forward. And every single one of your dreams have come true. Matter of fact, you've exceeded all of your expectations. The things you thought that you wanted, you've gotten those and then some. Your bank account balance, double it. The car you're driving, it's your weekend car. The home you live in, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Like your life is nothing like you imagine. It's barely recognizable. Take a deep breath, breathe that in. I want you to visualize driving up to your home in your weekend car. And you punch in the key code so that the gate can open to your home. I told you it's better than you imagine. The gate opens and you drive, I don't know, half a mile up to your front door. And when you get up to your front door, you get out the car, you open the double doors and you immediately smell the lavender, the lilac. You see the beautiful flowers that greet you. You are greeted by the tavertine floor, that beautiful floor that you're stepping on. You look at the staircase, beautiful spiral, like you're living your dream right now. And you hear laughter, and you hear music in the background, faint, beautiful music. Your favorite songs are playing. Visualize, hear your favorite song playing. Smell the lilac or the lavender or the vanilla candles. Hear the laughter of your family and your friends. You walk into the dining room, visualize yourself walking into the dining room, and there's about 17 people in your home all laughing and enjoying each other and having great conversation, and they all came to celebrate you. They all came to just say congratulations. And great food is being cooked. You know, the favorites, your favorites. Just imagine all your favorites are right here. And the people in your family that cooks that dish the best, they cooked it. And now you guys all gather around the table. And the family member that you know that you've had challenges with in the past, you're sitting right next to them because you cleaned it up. Now you guys are better connected than ever. See them sitting next to you, giggling, talking, whispering to you. And around the table, everyone's talking and laughing. And, and someone in your family says, we came just to toast you. To toast you because five years ago on this day, you made a decision to transform your life. And we've watched you be radical. And now look at your life. And you've inspired all of us. See your family all toasting you. Toasting you with some ice water, some apple cider, champagne, whatever that thing is that you really feel toasted and celebrated with, that's what they're toasting you with. And they're laughing and talking, and they go into just having all these sidebar conversations, and you just feel the joy bubbling up in your body because they're happy in your home, in your home. And they're happy about what you've done. And the little kids are saying, I want to grow up and be just like you. And you realize that you've done something. You've achieved something. You've come from that difficult moment, and you've come right through it. Feel it. Feel it right now in your body. The joy. The joy of having accomplished something major five years from today. And then all of a sudden you remember, oh, my God, I have to go to this event that was already booked. And so you 
thank everyone, tell them, stay, stay, have a good time, don't leave, there's plenty of food, stay. And then you say, and if you want to spend the night, spend the night. I have enough rooms for all of you. And everyone just smile because they know that they're welcomed in your home. You did it. You run outside, you jump into your car, you start down the road, you turn the music up, you let the top down. It's your weekend car, so the top goes down on your weekend car, on your weekend car. And you head off into the road, you get on the highway, and you begin to go toward this event. And you got about 25 minutes to get there, and it's pretty good because you only got about 15 miles to go, so you can get there. You're doing 60 miles per hour, so you're good. And all of a sudden, you run into a traffic jam. Feel your body tensing up. Feel your jaw kind of tightening. Traffic jam. I do not want to be in a traffic jam. All of a sudden, you feel the anxiety that comes with all these cars. And all of a sudden, you're going 12 miles per hour. You go, what happened? What what happened? I I, got to get there. I I, got to get there. I I got a few minutes. And you feel the anxiety. Feel the anxiety coming up. I I, got to get there. And you know waiting for you is going to be like 10,000 people. You're not quite sure. You don't remember what the event was about. You, you know, you've been running a lot. But I'm supposed to go there and give a little speech to 10,000 people. And all of a sudden, you're at a standstill stop on the highway. You can't move. And you realize that this is your traffic jail. All of these people are on their way to the same arena that you're going to. All of these people are on their way to your event to see you. You make your way through the crowd. You get there 15 minutes late, but no one cares. No one cares. They're excited that you got there. You walk in and the room roars. They roar for you. They clap for you. They stump for you. They yell for you. You walk up to the stage. You walk up to the podium. You put your paper down. And you begin your speech with what everyone begins with. You say, thank you. And you go to launch into your speech. And all of a sudden, person 9,782 in the back yells out, no, thank you. And then person 5,676, they say, thank you. Person 67, thank you. Person two in the front row, thank you. Person 456, thank you. 572, thank you. 4,329, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And all of a sudden, the entire arena, 10,000 people are saying thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for never giving up. Thank you for having faith. Thank you. For giving yourself a thousand second chances. Thank you. Thank you for being resilient and determined. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you stand there and you can't get a word in for 20 minutes. You can't talk because everyone wants to personally thank you for inspiring their lives, stretching them, pushing them, loving them through loving yourself, pushing yourself, inspiring yourself. You inspired them. You never knew that your resiliency was so contagious. You didn't know people were watching the way they were watching. And now 10,000 people have shown up to show you that they were watching you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You hear little old ladies saying thank you. You hear strong, sturdy men thank you. You hear young girls, thank you. You hear it all. 
and you say, you realize I didn't even come to speak. All of a sudden you get the memo. I came to hear. I came to listen. I came I came to realize the impact that my life has had on other people. I didn't even know, but now I know. And you decide in that moment, I'm not going to leave here without touching every person. I'm going to close every door to this sports arena except one. And I'm going to stand at that door. And I'm going to hug every single one of you before you leave. Now, we're going to be here for a long time. (laughs) It's going to be ours. But if you're willing to stand, I'm willing to stand. And unanimously, the entire room erupts in a roar. And they were clearly excited that you were willing to let them touch you and for you to touch them the way you've been doing for five years plus. And you stand at that door. And each person walks out that door. And all of a sudden, this little old lady, 65 years old, she says, thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you for letting me know that you never get too old to try again. And then the next person is that 15-year-old girl. And she says, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that I can make some mistakes and still get back up and still have a great life. And then that 50-year-old man comes to you and he says, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that even strong, I need help. I need support. I need a community. And then that 17-year-old girl says, thank you for letting me know I could do it my way with my flavor. And that 40-year-old woman says, thank you for letting me know that it's time to put myself first. It's time to serve from my overflow and not from my cup. And then you see someone who looks just like you, your exact same age, your exact same gender, your exact same culture, and they look you right in the face and says, thank you for being my example that people like us can have a life like this regardless of what we've been through. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you end the night. You get back in your convertible. You go back to your home. And before you get in bed this night, you fall to your knees. And you thank the universe for every experience you've ever had because you realize now you needed every valley to make your mountaintop taste better, feel better, know better. You needed every turbulence, trial and tribulation to make your victory feel better. You needed every test to make your testimony sound better. You needed all of the fear so that you can turn it into all of your fuel. That night, you say thank you the way those 10,000 people said thank you to you. Take a deep breath in. Feel your back against the chair. Feel your feet against the floor. Feel your breath in your body and begin to come back into the room. Begin to hear the sounds around you in this moment in your now environment. And as you're comfortable, open your eyes and come back to this moment.